People living in Dillon are frightened tonight after three shootings in just three days. The first on Friday afternoon at the Food Mart on West Main Street. The second outside the Family Dollar on Highway 301. And the third just last night. The victim, a young boy between the ages of 11 and 13 on Highway 57. Some business owners think the string of events hits too close to home. It could have been anywhere specifically. It could have been here. It, they were all in a business. They took place in the business. You don't know who or what's going to walk in the door. And you just always pray that it's the right person to walk in the door, not the wrong one. Rosie tells me she's not convinced the violence is over. Well, I'm wondering where the next one's going to be at since there's been several this weekend. Dillon police did not respond to my request for an interview today. They do have four warrants out for arrest in Friday's shooting and are currently working to figure out if the incidents were related. If they're related, that's bad. But if there's three people out there with a gun, which is worse? The victims from those three shootings are in stable condition. Rosie and Elaine agree it's frightening, but Elaine says people shouldn't live in fear. You can't be afraid all the time. You can't do that and look at people because uh, most people are innocent if it comes in the door. So we have to just trust it. It'll be fine. How does she find that trust? It's in my heart, hon, and it don't come out. <laughs> in Dillon, Jordan Schumann, WPDE News Channel 15.